four types of shock, all of them deadly, but only one needs fluids, one needs epi, and one needs surgery. Let's break it down before the question shows up on your NCLEX. Hypovolemic shock happens when you lose volume from either bleeding or dehydration. You fix it with fluids and blood products. Cardiogenic shock means the heart itself isn't pumping well, like after a major myocardial infarction. You'll need inotropes and maybe mechanical support. Distributive shock includes things like sepsis or anaphylaxis, where the blood vessels dilate and pressure tanks. These patients often need vasopressors and, in the case of anaphylaxis, epinephrine. And then you have obstructive shock. Obstructive shock is a blockage, like a cardiac tamponade or a pulmonary embolism. Treatment is to remove the obstruction fast. If you want a free shock chart that compares causes, signs, and treatments for all four types, comment shock down below on my Instagram video and I will DM that right to you. It's one of my most requested NCLEX cheat sheets.